Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A mistake many new Excel users make is thinking that because they have selected all the cells that they can see in a column or across a row, that they have selected the entire column or row. Selecting a few visible cells on screen is not the same thing as selecting entire columns or rows. To properly select an entire column or row, you must click the headings of the columns or rows. This is where the actual A, B, C appears for columns, or the 1, 2, 3 appears for rows. After clicking a column or row heading, the entire column or row is selected. This includes the column or row heading itself, which also appears highlighted. To select a range of adjacent columns or rows, simply click and drag across the column or row headings to select them. To select non-adjacent columns or rows, click the first column or row heading to select it. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then click the other non-adjacent column or row headings to select them as well. You can also select every column or row in a worksheet by clicking the small box located at the intersection of the column and row headings. When you click it, all columns and rows are then selected. Be careful when you do this, as if you try to perform a calculation on that much data, you will probably crash your computer. However, you can effectively use the selection to perform many small formatting tasks, like changing the font style or font size of all the text in the worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.